is now time to walk the walk. It is now time for your main event. Please welcome, from the blue corner, weighing in at 183 pounds, from the final round boxing club, the Senator Patrick Braz Knuckles Brazo. Uh, he's got his entourage around him, Ezra. He's walking through the crowd. People are on their feet cheering. People are on their feet booing. One thing that we're not lacking here is excitement. <laughs> he is a tough guy. His life has been physical. I think he's been in more fights, well, in a month than Trudeau has in in a life. Well, he's the senator that represents the area of Repontigny, Quebec, a little area just off the island of Montreal. But he's from Manawaki, Quebec. He's an Algonquin member of the reserve there. Uh, you're right, he's from a tougher neighborhood than Pierre Trudeau's son, Justin. Uh, they are uh, close in age. Razo, 37 years of age, 183 pounds. Look at those pounds. tats. Look, look at those tats. Look at the tats. Look at the shoulders on the man. And. Uh, We'll wait and see what Trudeau looks like. Brazo wearing a shirt. I thought they'd come out shirtless. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from the red corner, 180 pounds, the Papano Pugilist. Please welcome Justin He's wearing liberal red, of course. I call him the shiny pony. He looks like he's in some sort of zen yoga trance. All that dance training, that ballet training, it's gonna come back tonight. Uh, there's his mother cheering on in the crowd. His wife sitting immediately behind us at a table of women that all have pink boxing gloves with them. I heard he wanted to use the pink boxing gloves, but that was vetoed by the Sun News Network. Oh, Wise oh, Ezra going I saw for the, the skipping the, rope. The, the low blow. He skips like my four-year-old daughter. The low blows before it's even started from Levant, but Trudeau walking in. He's got he's got a determined look on his yeah, face. Yeah, he's a he's a drama teacher. He's a high school drama teacher. This is called overacting, my friend. He's a dramatic thespian. Well, if you ask me, both of these guys have done their best Zoolander blue steel in some of They're the photos. Both beautiful man, I won't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, let's compare tattoos on Justin Trudeau, a fake Aboriginal tattoo, on Patrick Razzo, a real Aboriginal tattoo, on a real Métis man. But not, not Métis, Algonquin. He is Algonquin and uh, from a reserve just a little bit north of Ottawa. And, I wonder uh, oh, if Trudeau, Trudeau, so I've got to interrupt. On his right shoulder, on his left shoulder, he's got his regular tattoo. In a moment, you'll see the Katimovic symbol, a youth corps started by his father that's been cutting this latest budget. He's got the symbol for Katimovic drawn onto his, his uh, shoulder. In the blue corner. The Senator, Monsieur Patrick Brazo, aka Braz Knuckles. Staring him down in the red corner. Please welcome, once again, the pugilist from Papineau. A man who needs no introduction, Justin True Doe. And both men about to be called into the center of the ring, Ezra. This is three rounds, two minutes each. Imagine the adrenaline. The pressure's been on these guys for months. Uh, and uh, the shame that will come with a haircut Monday for the loser. That is one of the side bets these two gentlemen have made. Whoever loses will get a haircut. The bell's gone. Trudeau going with the jab first. Brazo avoiding it. Now look at the inside. <laughs> Brazo's getting more punches in than I thought he would. Look yeah, at that. Oh, he's, he's got him up against the ropes. He's taking it in the face. 
Come on, shiny pony. Dance, you should ballet training. He's got the power going in on him, avoiding Trudeau's jabs, which with his longer reach should be able to keep Brazil away. Right, so but they're the pony, not. Shiny pony's face. Don't touch the face. I don't want those beautiful lips to be bleeding. And they're I'd hug him too. I'd hug him too, Ryan. Oh my god. This is gonna be He's a one, it on. This is a one-round fight, Brian. Well, they're going three rounds. They are going three rounds. Either way, Ezra. Three rounds, two minutes each, unless there's a knockout. You don't normally see knockouts in uh, in Olympic style amateur bouts. Razzo's gas from Ferrari. He, he's got more muscle, needs more oxygen. Uh, uh, he's but not using but he's, still, he's still getting laying more punches, and the crowd uh, is uh, is drowning out the chance of Trudeau oh, with Brazo. That three inch advantage in Trudeau's reach ain't helping him today. No, 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 not when you're being mauled. They're taking a break, both getting some air. Brazo, uh, he's three inches shorter than Trudeau, and he has a shorter reach, but he keeps ducking effectively when, uh, when Trudeau tries to lay the gloves on him. They're both exhausted already. I saw Trudeau training with a skipping rope get him some endurance. I don't know, those punches look weak to me. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of them, but I don't think they're going to make a dent in Brazo. Now, so far, if uh, if we're going on points, and that's how this works, a good flurry by Trudeau at the end there. But going on points, we'd have to say that that round went to Brazo. Huh. Okay, both boxers going to the corners. They're going to get looked at. Listen in. All right, here is one of the flurries from Brazo oh getting Trudeau God. up against the ropes. I never would thought I would feel sympathy for a liberal, but I feel it watching that. Boom. He, he got him like that a couple of times he, early in the fight as well. Uh, you know, people, we, you and I were talking about the reach. Brazo had to get past it. He did in that round. They're being called forward now for the second round after their little rocky moment here where the guy gets in the face and, and the boxer screams for Adrian. Round two, two minutes. Uh, Trudeau, Trudeau getting the jabs out early. Brazo blocking effectively, laying his own punches. But he's backing uh, away he's more from hits. Brazo's taking some hits. The shiny pony is a stallion. Returning fire oh, now for Brazo. I think Brazo, I think he's taking some punches harder than he thought. Now we're seeing that reach, one, two, three, four in a row from the Pony. Maybe the endurance factor and the reach are kicking in, Brian. Could be, maybe that skipping rope uh, we were talking about with Trudeau helped more than you thought. The second round is the Pony. Well, I'd say a more even round than the first. The first definitely went to Brazo. Trudeau, the upper hand, oh, what a play against the ring. Brazo's not even punching, he's not even blocking. A semi-hug there to uh, the referee calling for a break. Trudeau looking like he does have more stamina, though. I wouldn't have guessed it. I wouldn't have thunk it. I thought the brass man was hitting him hard and not hard enough to stun the pony. Well, the resurgence of Trudeau has led to the, the chance for Trudeau getting louder. You know, that's one thing. He came in with low expectations. He's exceeding them. Brazo's holding on to the ropes. Now he's just coming in the corner, punch. just taking the punches. Oh, One, two, three, four, five. The ref is stepping in. I can hear it already. Trudeau for leader. Bob Ray's next, Brian. Oh, just a straight punch in the face. And Brazo's nose looking like it's starting to bleed, swinging wildly. Yeah, grabbing those, ain't going to work here. The grabbing doesn't work, and those back punches don't help either. Okay, there's the bell. Trudeau Second walking calmly. Out for the Tory. Trudeau walking calmly to the uh, the corner. 
Brazo taking a beating there. On rounds, it'd be one each, but uh, how the how the uh, points break out in those two rounds, we don't know yet. Let's listen in. Look at that. Oh, boom. One in the face, in the face, in the tummy, in the face. I think they use the word tummy when they're hitting this hard, Brian. <laughs> uh, he's hanging on to the ropes. Yeah, another look. Here we go again. This is Trudeau's best flurry in the corner, I thought. And if he's doing this after that rough first round, he's going to have an even bigger endurance advantage in the third round. Well, we'll see Trudeau standing already. Brazo still uh, sitting, both getting instructors from their coaches. I wouldn't have thunk it. The pony, it's not just about Jazzercise or Tybo. He can actually deliver a punch. Okay. The blood, I can see the blood on Trudeau's glove. And there's the Trudeau camp cheering on their man who comes out oh. strong again in this third round. Razzo's trying to get inside and start inside. laying some. Here's that reach. A lot of people thought that Justin Trudeau would punch like Justin and then land on the canvas like Justine. That is not happening here. So far, a bit more even in this third round. This is his liberal bar mitzvah. Today, he becomes a man, Brian. Oh, he's just wailing. He is now pummeling Brazo. This is like his papa coming back in the 1980 election. Everyone counted him out. He lost in 79. Pierre came back in 80. In the second Trudeau and third round, Trudeau strong. looking strong. Boom, boom, Brazo's boom. The Tory's taking it. On him. The Tory's going down. He's in the corner. This is game over. The blood. The ref's got to stop it. Brazo looking disappointed. A lot of people Trudeau losing a lot of money it. tonight. The bookie said three to one odds. The pollster said three to one odds. The Tory is getting crushed. And, and there you have it. The fight called for and Justin done. Trudeau. And it's done. Did not even go to the end. Not even close. It was close for about... 30 seconds, Brian. And you look at that ponytail on Patrick Brazo, and it will be gone come Monday with a haircut. Someone's getting a haircut. There is the victor. Climbing up on the turnbuckle, kissing his gloves, nodding towards the table filled with his wife and her friends. They were cheering him on, going over to say good fight. To Patrick Brazo, Ezra R. Ezra Levant, trying to get into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our two combatants, Justin Trudeau, Patrick Brazo. Official score. Gentlemen, together please. In the second round of this three round, two minute battle, the referee stopped the fight in favor of, in the red corner, Justin Papano, pugilist Trudeau. Pony, you're the stallion. <laughs> From you, Ezra, that means a lot. What do you it say? Must really eat you up inside, doesn't you know it? What? It's for your good cause. You proved me wrong. A lot of doubters. It's Bob Ray next. <laughs> you always gotta go there, don't you? Ezra? Listen, good for you. He had you on the back foot for the first 30 seconds. Was it your endurance? Well, he hits hard. He hits very, very hard. Uh, he, he actually had me uh, had me seeing stars a couple of those shots. Uh, but I kept going. Uh, what was it? The endurance? Is that what he was too muscular, but not not, not enough staying power? Uh, I can take a hard hit, and he didn't realize that. But he he fought great. He had extreme power, uh, and I really got it. My heart goes out to him. Uh, we're, everyone's a winner here tonight. And he's going to get a haircut. Your beautiful hair will remain. Uh, won't you be happy about that, Ezra? Justin Trudeau, congratulations on a fight well fought. Thank you. The Tory team lost tonight. Senator Brazo, what do you have to say? I should be ashamed. Give the man credit. He trained hard. He was the underdog. He hit you pretty frickin' hard. 
absolutely. But he didn't get me down. So, but congratulations to Justin on a win. Give the man credit. He overcame the odds. I'm giving the man credit. I congratulate him. He beat me. I'd like to uh, thank all the organizers and all those who donated to this worthwhile cause. Who's gonna cut your hair? I don't know, I'm just trying to catch my breath. But uh, while we're here and we raised so much money this year, how about a rematch next year? Last word to Justin, the champion of the night, and you did it for a good cause. Last word to you. Thank you very much. Listen, everybody here tonight gave all the media attention. Thank you. We made it happen. I couldn't have made it happen without uh, the one person who believes in me more than anything else, my wife, Sophie. Back to you. If we can get everybody just to back up, we want to get the official pictures. Gentlemen. Gentlemen.